freaking hell. No. Take your bandage off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode of my reactions to The Last of Us. So, just a quick recap of a few things. Number one, I did have a slight name change as you've noticed. So, I am no longer Reebok Pumps. I am now Reembok Reacts. <laughs> So a little history on that name, um, since my brother was the inspiration behind starting the reaction channel and recommending that I watch The Last of Us, I decided to use a nickname that he used to call me while we were growing up. <laughs> Reebok pumps were huge at that time and I was quite the athlete. I was always going out and playing with the older boys because my brother was my idol. So all of the, the childhood street games, we have hockey, basketball, soccer, um, we would play California kickball, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, so that's where it all started from. Everyone would call me Reembok. <laughs> it was actually quite funny um, at the time anyways, but ah. I just thought, let's revisit that. Those are some good memories. All right, now, back to some business. Well, I am slowly catching up, but I'm going to be catching up right up to episode five um, within this week, hopefully, as long as I can watch fast enough and retain as much. Uh, so I don't have that much of a background with The Last of Us, just, you know, here and there I watched my brother while he was playing the game and then I found out about the story and the plot, how it's actually kind of a story-based video game and some of the scenes were quite moving. I absolutely loved the music. That's a different topic we'll talk about. By far still the best music any game can create, uh, the music directors and whatnot were absolutely amazing and of course my favorite actress Ashley Johnson she was the voice behind Ellie yeah so that's pretty much my background and now we're gonna get on to reacting to episode two of The Last of Us I hope you guys enjoy so a quick recap we are at the point where Tessa and Joel are now responsible for Ellie her uh, kind of her disguise name was Veronica and they are now taking her to that the base that they need to take her to um, because the leader of the Firefly she believes that she is the future uh, she's been able to withstand um, a transmission of the actual fungal infection she was bitten and it didn't proliferate through her body and they changed her up just to check and monitor her symptoms and she was good so she is the future um probably has something to do with since it attacks the brain probably have to do something i believe within her brain stem or brain cells kind of find the stem cells um whatever it is uh that gene that actually protects against this fungal infection and hopefully they can create a vaccine and save mankind. So I would assume that a lot of things that are happening because of this apocalyptic, you know, the, the post just life where the number one goal for humans is to survive. Um, how does everything kind of work? Uh, since everyone has trust issues, everyone's trying to you know, protect themselves against this fungal infection that is so easily transmitted, which is quite ironic since we're in this kind of post-COVID or within COVID uh, world right now. So just these super bugs and super viruses, a super fungal infection, the majority of humankind does not fight against it. They don't have antibodies against it. So that's where we are. So on to episode two. Where are we? Oh, Jakarta, Indonesia, September 24th, 2003. Ooh, I want to visit Indonesia one of these days. Take you guys along with me. It's just 
A little slow to start here. Everyone's looking. We have military police. Indonesia, other police, military, it's all just one thing. So there's quite a bit of unrest in Indonesia, if you're familiar with that. Huge war on drugs. Iba Ratna. Yes, professor of mycology. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Cordyceps can't survive in humans, but he just said it was taken from a human sample. Alright. So, mode of transmission, I'm curious to know. So, if the spores are in the air, how does that happen? I do know that the person kind of has to explode and you have to be in close vicinity, but let's see. And what we saw in episode one, where tentacles were out of the mouth and the human is driven to go and bite or feed on the human or spread its spores through the tentacles. I'm not quite sure, but that's what I am assuming right now. Hmm. He was shot in the head. The bottom of her left leg. Ah. She was bitten. Or, yeah, she. So a bite is a mode of transmission, just a simple human bite. Oh my, being that actor there. Whew. There we go, now she's going into the mouth. How does she know to go to the mouth? Oh, how did they shoot the scene? I'm kind of curious. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're alive. Still! <sighs> it was still alive. So her quarantine suit, or her biohazard suit, was enough to protect against that. Hmm. Normal woman, then suddenly violent. She bit three of them. They locked her in a bathroom. Police came, she tried to attack them. And they shot her. Huh, that's my question. What happened to the people she bit? Huh? <gasps> 
mereka harus tetap dieksekusi. Hmm. Siapa yang gigit perempuan itu? Who bit her? That's the question. They don't know. Tidak tahu itu. Oh no. Jadi artinya mereka masih berkeliaran di luar sana. They're still out there. Oh my god, goosebumps you guys. 14 people are missing. Oh my god. They need or medicine. They need a vaccine or medicine. Who was the deep scene? You'll notice how they're panning closer, they're zooming in. There's no medicine and no vaccine for this. Bomb. Oh my god. Start bombing. Bomb the city. That's how the wreckage shows up. Why is there so much wreckage? I was wondering. Mm. It's a war on people now, guys. Moff is also in Hindi, it means forgive me. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> they're staring at her while she's sleeping. Pointed a gun at her. <laughs> Do I look like I'm infected? Shows your arm. <laughs> That's what they're worried about right now. They're worried about her being infected. Oh. oh. Broke his hand from punching the Fedra soldier so hard. Sooner or later. All right, we're still close to the wall. We sneak her back into the QZ. We find a different way to get the battery. This is our best shot. We take her back to the QZ. Someone's gonna notice her arm. They're gonna scan her. Then they'll kill her. Well, better them than us. Break your arm or your occipital chicken? bone and yeah. eye, and you just have to deal with it. Right until they get it from smugglers. And you'll probably die in infection because there's no medicine. Guess not you guys. Hopefully your body can just fight it off. Hey. Heal. Hey. Why are you so important to Marley? Don't lie to me. I won't take you back. Mm. You take me back, you don't get your battery. Mm. You heard that? Then you must have heard that he wants to shoot you. I'm gonna talk to you like you're an adult. Mm -hmm. Joel and I aren't good people. We're doing this for us. Because apparently, you're worth something. But we don't know what you're worth if we don't know what we have. So answer my question. She told me not to tell anybody, and I'm telling the first people that... <laughs> that she meets. <laughs> There's a firefly base camp somewhere out west. Uh-huh. With doctors. 
they're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. Isn't Tommy somewhere out west? Whatever happened to me is the key to to find in the vaccine. That's what this is. Mm. We've heard this a million times. Vaccines, miracle cures. None of it works ever. Fuck you, man. I didn't ask for this. You and me both. This isn't going to end well, Tess. We need to go back. Hmm. Well, they can't go back. Let's just finish it. It doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say. If they believe that she is, Mm -hmm. then we get what we want. Tess is smack on. You gotta live for the moment what you need right now. So they need the battery. Just get it done. She so much as twitches. Most of the big cities like this, they had to slow the spread somehow. Mm. Worked here, but it didn't in most places. Mm-hmm. They got lucky. So the state house is across there. It's about a ten minute walk if you could go straight. So long way or short way? I mean it's the long way or the we're fucking dead way. Well, I have a long way. It's based on that limited information. Nobody's going to be coming after you, right? Like mom, dad, <laughs> boyfriend. I'm an orphan and uh, no. She's an orphan. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Like swarms of infected running around everywhere. So there's no effect. Like <laughs> people like to tell stories. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. Oh, there we go. Split open heads that see in the dark like bats. She doesn't really quite know that they do split open uh, through the head. Oh, spore fungi. What was that? The need to expand. They gotta go somewhere. They can't be contained within the body. Let's keep moving. Some eerie music and a lily pod. What? The frog is playing the piano. What a great scene. <laughs> He's jumping on top of the piano so it's playing music. Ding ding! Yes, sir, I'd like your finest sweet, please. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Would you like me to shake your luggage? Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. You're a weird kid. You're a weird kid. Well, how does she know all that? Yeah, that's scary. Whew. So we are into character building now and interact- interactions between characters. So the relationships can develop a little more. Joel just kind of suppresses all his emotions ever since his daughter was killed. He just doesn't want to feel that and actually heal That's from right. it and go through it. So he's been suppressing it quite a bit. pillows and green furniture set design is absolutely amazing There's so many. The last time we were here, they were still deep inside the buildings. Then I guess enough people came through looking for the QZ. We went inside seeking shelter. 
And that's how they get more and more of the city, bit by bit, year after year. Uh, more people come out, go in and seeking shelter. Number of infected expanding, and they're suffering. Oh god. More than you know. Oh. The fungus also grows underground. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. When you step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Now they know where you are, now they come. Oh, shit. You're not immune from being ripped apart. You understand? It's important. I'm trying to keep you alive. Huh. Holy smokes, are you serious? If you step on it? The cordyceps and they so can communicate no. miles and miles away and they know that you're what there. You Jeez. Short way? Museum. I think they're more deadly than walkers. What do you guys think? You touched it. Oh. It's dead. Is it? It's bone dry. Okay. Could mean they're all finally dead in there. It could mean. Still a chance that they're not. Freaking hell. Too much stress. Willing to pack in one of these or just sandwiches? Yeah. He's <laughs> so awesome. Okay. I love so, Joel. More ground rules. We're gonna go slowly. If you come up against anything, you get behind us and you stay there, okay? Yes. I have a spare hand. Congratulations. <laughs> she wants a gun. Just give her a gun. Come on. That's the parents in them, right? <clears throat> so... Stepping on it doesn't transmit it into you. From what I gather here. It's interesting though. What the fuck did that? What? Not just infected, there's something else. And that's more vicious. It could be another human being. Jeez. Like a normal human being that isn't infected. Scared of infected people that are dried up. <gasps> oh god. He said when you step on them, they'll know, but these are dried up. Oh god, I hope so. S you know, you, they evolve. You learn something new as you go all the time, right? Jeez. Again, awesome set design and prosthetics and whatnot. <sighs> CG if they need it. Oh. Oh, that popping noise is them. Oh, creepy. Like a bird and popping and reptilish. Oh.
Holy shit. This is freaky. Holy, these are freaky. I can't sense them. All she did was breathe loud and it sensed them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? Holy shit. They don't even need eyes. Oh, that was some good acting by that guy that's acting like an infected. Look at the way he's moving. Light, light, light. He's coming to the light. No, they can't see. Which means that they would be able to hear and sense movement. Oh, they're zooming into Joel right now. So that means they'll be right beside him. Freaking hell. So this one's mode of transmission is still... Oh! They use gunshots, which means... Can trigger more to come that way. Yep. Those look like the when you go up in the mountains, the fungi that are growing out of the trees and stuff. Oh. Should've been better again. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here. She's been again. <laughs> Two tests is banged up, like seriously banged up. Thanks. She's assertive. But she's still got that calmness, that gentleness she hasn't lost. That female gentleness. But she's a tough, tough woman. Is it everything you hope for? Did you see blood? You got oh blood. Uh oh. What happened to them? Well, what could have caused that? Was it a bombing? Like, this would be recent. Come on. Yes. That drive for a little bit of hope, for a vaccine, survival of humankind, just drove her to take her in there. What the hell? What is it that's killing them? I don't understand. It's not the infection. P 
people infected. This is different. I mean, there's gotta be a, a fucking radio or something, right? Who killed them? Vedra? No. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Jess, what are you doing? Where did Marlene say that she was taking you? Ellie? Uh, I don't know. Just west. Just west. Well, I mean, one of them's got to have a map on them, right? Joe, can you help me? No. Tess, it's over. We are going home. This is not my fucking home! Yes. We killed each other. Shit. Well, freaking hell. No. Take your bandage off. Your hands still handle it from here? No, 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 I can't. They won't take her. They're not going to take her. Because you'll convince them. Yes, you are. Oh, not again. I, I never ask you for anything. Not to feel the way I felt. Not to make me shut the fuck up because I don't have time. This is your chance. You get her there. You keep her alive. And you set everything right. All the shit we did. Please say yes, Joel. Please. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. That's how they communicate. Oh my god. Holy shit. No! Oh, come on! Oh, Tessa. Come on. Oh. Literally the kiss of death. Oh my god. Again, you guys, it's too much stress. <laughs> Shoot. Again, anyone Joel gets close to, huh?
Oh my god, you guys. That was a little bit too much to handle. But we got through it. So we've lost another member. It's now Tessa. So she sacrificed herself because she got infected. And now it's just Joel and Ellie on their way. The mission has changed now. They're going to have to head by themselves west to some Firefly base because anybody that was there for the drop-off pickup, all of those Firefly rebels, they were dead. So there it is. Whew. Really deep. Okay, I hope you guys liked that episode. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video. Let's get some more subscribers to this channel and... Hit the notification button so you can get notified of my next video as soon as it's up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.